Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, today on this episode, we have got another product install and review sent to us by Kimimoto. If you've seen one of the last videos that I did, they liked it so much, they sent us some more what to do for you guys. So shout out to them for uh, helping support the channel. Also shout out to everybody that has clicked onto this video uh, for tuning in with us. If you haven't, go ahead, hit that subscribe button you know, like button, notification bell. We really appreciate it. Drop some comments down below. Anyways, back to the product. So today we have the Kimimoto UTV CVT uh, drive belt storage bag. So we're gonna open this up. This is our first time checking it out. We're gonna open it up, uh, see what they got going on here. It's supposed to be able to store your tools and your belt and everything. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the features that they say that it has and what all we have going on with it. And then we'll do some, you know, fitting. Where does this fit and where do you, where could you put this and how does it work? So, here we are. Pretty simple bag. Looks all right. This is kind of like first impression. I uh, looked at it a little bit online. It has straps on it for to uh you know like if you want to strap it to the back of the seat if you want to strap it to the roll cage we'll go over a few different scenarios but let's check this out see what the main bag looks like pretty good amount of storage so i'm assuming this is probably where your uh tools and maybe stuff could go down in here and then maybe your CVT. We're gonna test your CVT belt. We're gonna test it out. We're gonna grab some tools, some stuff that uh, normally get carried in our bare basic package and our CVT belt. Um, also, you've got a front pocket here. Put a little stuff in there. Hell, you could even use this as a snack bag if you needed to. You put your snacks and stuff up there. Cause you know, there's some people out on the trails that work on their stuff. So they gotta have snacks. So, I'm gonna cut to some B-roll, and we'll show a product display, and then we'll go over some more. Hope you guys enjoyed that B-roll. So, what we're gonna do is uh, we've got my CVT belt and we've got a few tools here that I usually carry on the regular uh, And we're gonna put them in the bag check and see how you know how well everything fits Where it all goes So I've got my CVT belt. I usually zip tie it up somewhere put it in there So we'll cut our zip tie it Needs to be cleaned up after this video and stuff I'll clean my belt up and get it get it prepared to go in here so your CVT outline the outer parts of your bag. Nice and tight fit, kind of fills everything out. Pull our center piece out. So as you can see, you now have your CVT bag, uh, CVT in the bag, CVT belt. Then you've got your center section fill out you know I've got quick belt changing tool uh, a lot of extras from factory come with a, a compression tool for the secondary clutch I grab one of these it you just twist everything on and boom you're done standard toolkit that the x3s come with put it in there your shock uh, your cool over adjustment and then instead of outer wrenches I use to keep outer wrenches on hand now you can see just by the little bit of stuff in here, there is more room. You could add more tools. You could have, you know, a wrench kit, a uh, couple different things, whatever fits on your, uh, you feel like that you would need that would fit your side by side or maybe others. Then once this bag is complete, we'll zip this back up. We got our CVT belt. And then Boom, we're done. It's got a nice little carry handle. 
So if you go to take it out of the machine, you pick it up, take it with you, plop it on the ground, unzip it, do what you need to do, and it's all good and gravy. Now, the next part to this is, is we're going to look, they've got these four adjustable straps, quick clip on, quick clip off. We're just going to run a scenario of placement and how you would strap them up and, you know, does it fit? Does it work? So we're going to cut to that. So this is not the ideal placement, but I just want to show you guys as a demonstration uh, how easy it is to adjust everything. So I'm going to put it right here, uh, hanging off my back bar. Obviously, again, ideal, not ideal placement because of where the exhaust is, but just going to show you how easy it is to get everything done. So I'll put my first strap through. Can probably run it. So round through this bar, pull that strap, give it, give it a little bit of tightness, pull this one over here. Start pulling it too. Probably didn't see that one over there, but so it's quick and easy. Pull it too. Pull everything too. We got it rocking here. And then you can do your bottom ones. And wherever you choose to put them. Now this can be mounted inside the cab if you wanted to mount it like this. Can be mounted outside on the roll cage. Uh, lots of different options with your strap system. Got a little bit of slack on that one. So I'm gonna do this side over here, which should help pull everything tight. So you be ready to rock and roll. So, also, you know, if you didn't want to go with that, if you didn't want to do all this, you know, or putting it on your cage somewhere, it is super compact enough that you could take it and just slide it up and under your seat. Depending on how much stuff you have in it, how big it is. So, Right there it is. You could clean your straps and stuff up so it doesn't get around your feet. You could put it on the passenger side. It'd be pretty simple. Or you could drop it behind the seat. If you're a rider that doesn't need your seat all the way back, you could just drop it down behind there. Usually that's where I put my, my uh, CVT belt is I just slide it in behind the seat or strap it up somewhere with uh, zip ties. So now they have the claim of water resistant, waterproof. So we're gonna test that out as our final piece. So now what we're gonna simulate is 
if it's under if it's stored under the seat and if you are going through deep water so obviously if you're going through some type of deep water it's going to get into your floorboard it's going to get wet so we are going to show a simulation of just putting this down in the water basically just getting it all soaked up Now you can see the water is running right off of it on the outside. So now we'll take it over here. We're going to open it up. We'll see what the contents look like. Now, obviously, if you run through water, it's going to be underwater a lot longer than what I had it in the bucket. We'll look in the first. Well, there's water in there. Water in the first pocket. And we have water in this one. So it's resistant, not waterproof. So if you choose to buy this bag, keep this in mind. You're looking for something that is proof and not resistant. Water resistant does help out. So recommendation of if you are going to be riding anywhere that is going to have any type of deep water or anything of that sort, um, mount this up high if you have stuff in here that you don't want to get wet mount this up high uh, not under your seat so again shout out to Kimimoto for uh, trusting us with this video uh, you guys for tuning in and checking this video out on our review um, I could do some follow-up videos um, say six months from now wear and tear of just leaving it in there and using it and seeing how well it lasts so again thanks guys uh we'll catch you on the next one don't forget hit that like button subscribe uh drop a comment down it helps our algorithm peace out everybody